Hello everybody, it's me, Scooter, with Alpine Backyard Wrestling, and we are coming to you in my room again. Now, as you can see, there's been some changes, um, and we're going to get into the first, but first we're going to get into our other stuff. We woke up this morning, and we went to Michael's, and we had to go to Michael's to get some of these brushes. We went to the one in Bessemer, and these were like three dollars, so I ran in there, and I got some of these michaels and the lady that helped me find these was really nice i told her what i was going to do so as you can see behind me we did the corners and all that and i'm going to turn my camera and you see you can't tell it but we got our blinds up we got new blinds they're up and this looks so much better i know they're what you're thinking they're a little short yes they are we, we went with 30 it was easily 31 inches but um i did that so it went and it would let some light in, but not a whole lot. Um, but yeah, but we'll get into the lines later and the rest of this as we go through our story. Well, we went to Michael's, like I said, the lady, the young lady was really nice, helped me out. And so she found me these for three dollars because, like, as soon as we get time, we will do the lines. But it ain't gonna be today because we got other things that we gotta do. Do, but yeah, we went to Michael's, it's over there before you go up the hill to the movie theater and we got these and I used one and we we did the top and my we have to use this camera because I gotta get software to make my webcam work. But um yeah we did it all the way around. And then see that? We did all that. All that. It looks pretty I think it looks pretty good myself. But yeah, we did it all the way around. The room and and all the bottom I'm not too worried about because you won't see it. And most of the time I don't have my light on, so it's really dark, so you you can't really tell. But yeah, we went to Michaels. So put your local art in the craft store, Michaels. Don't be ashamed to be a guy and go in there and say, "Hey, I'm a guy. I'm stupid. I don't know what I need." But this is a project I'm working on, and the young ladies in there will help you. Now, after we left Michaels. We went to, as many of you know, the Target's just right down the road from there. And um, we went looking for toys. Might as well. And we picked up this, Dean Ambrose. And we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna go ahead and unbox this. But yeah, we went, picked up the old Dean, and he was at the, they didn't have nobody else. So, we just said, okay. And I saw some of the other AEW figures, but I'm not fans of them. I'm not Dustin Rose. Like, here's some of the figures you can get. John Mosley, Adam Page, MJL. Ray Flanks, Pentagon Jr., and Dustin Rhodes. I'm, I've never been a fan of Dustin Rhodes. He wears a bunch of face paints and goes out there, you know, and does his same old thing. I'm just, I'm just not a fan of Dustin Rhodes. This is him, Shadeen Emrose. He is. I guess he's still the current AEW champion. I do not know. I do not watch their program. You're probably thinking, Scooter, give it a chance. You might like it. No. I will give it a chance. I will set my TiVo up to watch it. Heck, I haven't even watched Raw last night. I fell asleep during it. No. I'm not a package. There we go. I like this figure. I wish I could have got one of him when he was in Raw. But hey, I like this one better. Boom, look at that. Is that not cool or what? Hold on. Let me fix your foot, buddy. Okay. But yeah, this is Moxley. And we got him. And um, yeah. This is a cool looking toy. And I'm going to enjoy putting him in my wrestling ring. Now, well, like you know, we enjoy 
We got this guy a couple of days ago. We we're just, just not unboxing them. But um, we got this. We got the uh, Jordy G. I figured, what the heck? I mean, if you're at a store and you don't know if you got a figure, just buy it anyway. If you got it, go home. Got it, then it ain't in the world. You can just give it away to somebody. Yeah. So just hang on to it. Hey, who knows? Might be or something. But yeah, we um when you got a bunch of figures, it's hard to know which ones you got and which ones you don't have. That's what I have discovered, so just fine. And if you got an extra one, then if you discover you have an extra one, give it away as a bonus or keep it. It's up to you. I mean, you're working hard for your money. What are you trying to buy with it? Keep it and just give it to somebody that doesn't have the money. Who doesn't want a big wrestling figure? Okay, buddy, this is Mr. Shorty G. I haven't seen him in a while. I don't even know which program he's on. But here we go. This is Shorty G. As you can see, he looks pretty good, I'd like to think. But yeah, looks good. I'm, I'm going to put him in the ring. And this is, and this is, G. this is series 114. And AEW, I don't think they have a series. They're AEW Revolution 229, 220. Yeah, okay. Series two, number ten. Well, that's that's good. Uh, okay, now we um, do you remember? We went. We got Bird White. We got him at the Target. We've been having this one, and um, it looks good, don't it? And this is. Series 114, The Fiend Bray White. So, I don't know what that series and stuff is. I couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. All I know is it's a figure and it's going in my toy ring behind me. Now. This is our good friend, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt, as many as you know, has been out of action ever since he caught on fire. I don't know just because he got injured really bad or what the case might be, but this is him. And uh, it's a pretty nice one. I like it. And then, okay, so we're going to put these three guys in the toy room. Okay, guys, we got an AEW character going into this ring, so don't y'all give him no shit or I'll buy more. So don't y'all start no shit with him on this now. <clears throat> After we got done going to Target, and most of those things from Target, um, Walmart was the only one we went. They had other figures like, let me see here. They had other figures, like they had like all these figures. They had, like when we went to Target, they had, in, in, in Bessemer, they had um, Hangman Allen Page. They had all these, except for the Dustin Rhodes one. Well, we went to Walmart and they didn't have anything really, but they did have something that I found very interesting. The Fiend WrestleMania. And they also got Drew McIntyre, Rochester, and Andrea. These are the other three that come with the set, but I did not see those and I will be looking for them. It'll be in a WrestleMania package like this. These are the other three that you can get. 
And um, this is what he wore to the um, Inferno matchup. So yeah. I also believe that he had some fire clothing underneath this because y'all I'm telling you WWE is written by a bunch of people and I guarantee you he did not suffer not one burn whenever Randy Orton because I guarantee you he had a burn suit under his clothes and those burn suits usually can be good for 5, 10 plus minutes dependent. so I guarantee you the Fiend did not even get seriously burnt because that burn suit was y'all I'm telling you like the Royal Rumble they need Everybody knew who was going to win it going in. They just put on a good show and performance to make you feel better. But I'm telling y'all, they knew who was going to win the Royal Rumble because Rumble, it's all rigged. They knew who was going to win going in. They just had to put on the art and let Edge, you know. And it sucks that that's how it is, y'all. But I'm telling you, it's, it's rigged. They knew who was winning before they even went in there. So don't think that... I'm not a scooter, that ain't true. I'm telling you, y'all, it's true. I can't count how many times I've heard that clown off that, um, that took Graham. He said that's how they decided who won. They drew a hat name out of a hat, and his name was Pig. And they just put on a good show, and then there you go. We go. Y'all, if you can. If you can fake, and you know who can, if they can decide and say, okay, this guy's going to win the Royal Rumble. You think they can't do that in sports? You think they can't do that in basketball? They go out there and they put on a show. It could, the, the, sports could be rigged like wrestling. You might sit there and say, they might be saying, hey, this team, we want you to lose. We want them to win. Blah, blah. And they might be doing this every night because they do it. On wrestling, why can't they not do it for sports? Because that's how you bring in the money. And you say, okay, this team and this team would probably bring a lot more money than this team and this team. So let's have this team go to the final champions. Oh, Scooter, that's just crazy. That's just crazy. Why do you think they got Edge to go to win the Royal Rumble and then go to WrestleMania and and? Who knows who's going to win be in the Elimination Chamber. And he has to beat five other guys. He might do it. He might not. I don't know. But whoever, but they're going to pick the opponent that's going to bring the most views to that WrestleMania. Because that's like the Super Bowl of Super Bowls in wrestling. But anyway, y'all. Here you go. This is what he wore. This is the thing when he went to... WrestleMania and competed against Randy Orton in the <coughs> Firehouse One House Fame match, Inferno match, and here he is. He's got the long jacket. So voila, we're gonna go and stick him in the ring. Now we're gonna stick him right next to Moxley here. And I must be honest, y'all. I think that he makes he would make a fine Universal Champion champ to Fiend. I really do. I think he should be champ. That person right tired. That's just how I feel about it. Okay, now on that bombshell. The next thing we did after we left. Walmart was we went to go and cry out and they were busy so I didn't get to eat in Ashford's section. I had to eat in some other lady's section and she it was horrible. She only came and checked on me maybe one, two times maybe at most. So I will not be eating in her section again at all. Um, but yeah, after that we came home and we painted these corners. As you can see, come on, let's do some adjusting. See, this is why I like having a webcam. You see, we painted all the top corners. Yeah, see, looks nice, don't it? We went all the way around. Right. 
So yeah, that's what we pretty much did today. And um, we are going to um, get my phone. I gotta plug it in the charge, and we are going to um, wait. Shit, my bad. I forgot. We bought another item. But anyway, that's all I had to say about this. This is done. And we got our blinds up too. We went to Lowe's. We got blinds. Because the other ones we mipped up. We screwed pretty good. So, yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much what we done today. And later on this afternoon, we are going to go to um, Dave and Buster's. Because everybody says they wish arcades would make a comeback. You know, here's the thing that I see about arcades. Arcades, arcades are good, don't get me wrong. But people want to go somewhere where they can have beer, food, and then they can go play in arcades. That's what I would want. And that's what I think David Buss is, is probably going to be the new arcade. Okay, Chuck E. Cheese was, and then we're going to go Chuck E. Cheese if they don't have the game that we, um, we want to play, and I can't remember the name of that game because they're named different names. And, and, uh, and don't forget, Wednesday, y'all, we are giving away the uh, Alvaro Martin Auburn Church. And this is another thing I want to bring up um, about this. Let me. We did the Alabama shirt, right? And then I think two days later we did the Auburn, or the next day later I think we did the Auburn shirt. The Auburn shirt has exceeded the views of Alabama and we posted it. Everybody was watching the Auburn one. Like the Auburn shirt is getting more views than the Alabama shirt. I don't know what it is. Okay. Um, I gotta see the, the Okay, we're gonna say arcade games. Arcade map. I'm gonna look up arcade map. Arcade. Arcade map. Because Matt played this game. I don't even know if he, there he is. I'm subscribed, but I don't get none of his notifications. Four days ago, well, I guess since his stuff is for kids, they won't. Mm -hmm. Cyclone tip. The cyclone tip game, you know? That little game with the ball goes like that. That game is rigged. It will only let you hit one of the rigs. I mean, um. I'm looking for it, Jackpot. I'm looking for that game. Maybe since I looked at his page, I'll start getting notifications. I'm trying to find it. It's um I'm going to tell you another game that you do not want to play that's an arcade game that is rigged. It's the key. It's the key game. If it goes up and it that key game, the people have a certain amount that you, you got to go over before the key thing will let you pay. So just know that it's rigged. And um, so don't play it because you. If it goes up and it hits and you know that it ain't close so don't even uh 
Waste your time. I'm trying to find it. It's Bubble Roar. I they do not have that game nowhere, Harley. It's very hard to find. But I'm trying to find it. I think his favorite game is Bow Roar in this other game. Okay, let's say Arcade. Game with square block to see where blocks. Okay, game with square blocks. That should pull it up. Here it is. This is called I Can't Stop Winning the Major Price from Stacker. Okay, it's called the Stacker game. It's a square box game, right? And um How to Win at Stackers. That's the name of the game is Stackers. That's what we played at Choke Cheese, and that's what we're gonna be looking at at Dave and Buster's. Now if you've never played Stacker, I guess I can show you how to play it. Let me see if I can pull it up on my phone. Okay, this is somebody else's channel. I hope they don't get mad. Arcade Warrior. How to win at Stackers. Hey guys, today I'm here at uh, one of my restaurants and they got a stacker machine. And uh, my cookie you probably want to know how to use it. Okay, so what we're going to do is it's a rigged game, so this is how they make the money. But expensive prizes in here, you see the, you got $50 bills right here, $2 bills. You got like a charger in there, and then you got the junk down here. Normally with the minor prize, this is the minor prize, these are easy to get. Well, normally these prizes are extremely easy Pretty to get. Pretty much what the stacker game is, is it's yeah, square, like and it goes like that. Prize, but and then you stop. And then you go up and you keep going and you stop. You're trying to line them all up like this. But the squares keep getting smaller and smaller as you get up in level. So that's what the name of that game is called. Well, I can't. But yeah, it's, it's a fun game, y'all. And um, it was called Stacking. He said one out of fifty times or whatever, but y'all, I hit that jet part at Chuck E. Cheese's was like nine times, and um, it was less than fifty. But yeah, that's what game we are trying to look for at David Buster's tonight. And I'm gonna charge up my phone, and we are gonna go to David Buster's. If they don't have the stacker game, and we're gonna go to Chuck E. Cheese, and we're gonna play. Hope that they have it. So that's our plan for today. Like I said, if you're gonna have. Another video, but like I said, y'all, we had to get the room done. The wall that the bug man put sprayed is done. Like, I th most of the time, I don't even have the light on. I only turn the light on when we're making videos. And, um, that's it. But everybody on that bombshell, we hope that you enjoyed this video. Like I said, we found a few more, um, figures that we just needed to have. And everybody on that bombshell, we hope that you have a good day. And to our next video. Good night.